Let's open Excel. The first thing we're going to do is import the data called UK Population into Excel. Locate the tool as per last week and import the data. Data from text UK Population. Make sure that Delimited and My Data as Headers are selected. As we only have one common column, we can untick any delimiters. Next and finish. Again, make sure that we're adding this data into A1 and click OK. Now we are going to create a bar graph using the selected data. Highlight the data by clicking and dragging to the lowest data point. Or use this handy little technique, hold Control, Shift and hit the down button and this selects all of the data quickly. Use the scroll bar or the wheel on the mouse to get to the top of the screen. Next, select the insert tab at the top of the screen and scroll over to this charts area here. And here we have the ability to choose a number of charts to plot. Hover over these in turn and select the one which says insert column. Here we go, insert column or bar chart. Select this one in the upper left corner this will add the following chart to your spreadsheet. This doesn't really tell us much. We need to label and annotate it. To the right of the graph and chart when selected, several icons appear on the right hand side. These allow us to alter axis, colors of the chart, and etc. Let's move it to its own sheet first. To do this, you right click on the chart, you scroll down to move chart, and this will open a new sheet. Let's call it pop raw, for example. and click OK. This moves the whole chart to a new tab at the bottom called Pop Raw. As before there are a number of icons in the top right. If we select the one called Chart Elements which is this green plus here we can add or remove certain things. So let's make sure we have Axis Titles selected. This adds blank titles to the vertical and horizontal axes. We can now label these appropriately, for example, guest number on the bottom and population in millions on the Y. And we can also give it an appropriate title, individual guesses for UK population, for example. If we want to, we can also change colours and the chart appearance. If you double click on the centre of the chart inside the axis but not touching on the data itself, this brings up a new menu on the right hand side. I'm not going to dwell on this too much here, however if you now click on individual elements of, on the chart, it allows you to change aspects. For example, we could change the colour of the bars to red. Here, if we select the data series, this right hand side menu churn changes to format data series. If you click on the fill and line, this one, and click on fill, and then we scroll down to solid fill, we can change that to right by using this color fill button in the bottom right. For example, from blue to red. If we suddenly decide that we are not happy with our chart being a bar chart, we can change it easily. With the chart selected, thus, two extra tabs appear at the top of the screen. Here we have Design and Format. If we click on Change Chart Type, let's try Line Chart. We click on Line and we select our Line Chart here and click OK. You should now see a Line Chart in the place of the original bar chart. OK, so now we know how to make charts, but it doesn't really give us much information. In particular, the data on this chart doesn't give us much information. And the, it's very different from the one I illustrated using this data during the lectures. So let's make a histogram to make this data a little bit more sensical.